Hey masters, welcome back to Join Media. Welcome back to another good video of WebTriber.io. Today I wanted to bring a video. I wanted to create a video to understand how to use switch window and new window using WebDriver.io. Let's imagine that you have an scenario to automate where you have like buttons, right? And some of them uses a, a target to open a new tab, right? And also there are other buttons like new window like this button new window that opens a totally new window well from your when you when you perform a click so i wanted to reproduce this scenario using webdriver io uh, well the idea is to explain you what i did and well two different approaches that we have available available in webdriver io to manage and do this okay so let's start taking a look of the first scenario let's imagine that you want to click on this new tab right and you want to change the focus to this new website and this new tab and you want to make sure that the text here is this is a sample page how you can do this and well once you have actually validate that the text is this one you want to click or actually close this window so you can continue working on your original tab which in this case is this website demo QA browser windows okay so let's take a look of my code and I wanted to explain you step by step different approaches that I have available for you if you want to also research more about it please feel feel free to do it and give me some feedback so uh, we can learn together here uh, in this channel okay um, so I have a simple describe right which is gonna be like the suite of test cases under this particular uh, suite which the which the name is browser and windows scenarios okay we're gonna have a before each which actually returns an asynchronous uh, callback function and over here we have an await browser that url if you remember correctly from the last videos basically this command over here is gonna be opening a new window right a new from driver uh, session with this particular website with this url as a base okay so every single it that we have under the describe is going to well perform this hook before each and it is going to open uh, the web browser and well in this case this particular url okay well when when you have done that i have this only the, i'm sorry this it which is going to be named should open a new tab after clicking on a button well basically what is going to be happening here is that we have an await this particular command as you remember probably is going to be uh, locating right or actually finding the element with this particular id if i control c this selector and i inspect the well this particular website here and i press control f and then control v right you're gonna see that we are pointing right now to this particular element which is a a, a, a button right that actually have a new tab uh, as as the text right and well if you click on this right you're gonna open up a new tab that's basically what i'm doing what i'm doing over here as you can see it is locating that particular element and then i'm clicking on it right so now the new tab should be displayed now we have an, an in the line number nine right we have another method here which is going to be browser that switch window this particular method well if we check the official documentation you're gonna see that well this method switch focus to a particular tab slash window and well the parameter that we can send is a matcher what is what is this matcher basically it is a string or or a regex expression that basically uh, can match the title or the URL of the page or the window name itself, okay? So if you check when you click on, on that button and open this new tab, we have the sample uh, string in the URL. So we can use this matcher as, as a parameter to the function switch window and now we're gonna be sending this string over here and now WebDriver.io is gonna know that the focus of the script should be changed to this new tab that we have opened after the click okay then i'm gonna be checking that the sample heading should have the text containing this is a sample page which is basically the text that we have in this particular uh, html if i check and if i inspect the html you can see that basically this has the id sample heading and this is the text that it has and we might want to make sure that it works correctly or not okay now let's take a look of the next code line in my script in the line number 11 okay 
Now I'm going to be using browser.close window in order to make sure that we close that tab once it is, well, actually, a, well, when we have actually validated the result that we wanted to, to check, right? The intended result. And then once I have closed the window, well, I want to come back to the original window using the same uh, parameter or actually another one that is browser windows which is a matcher that we have in the url over here browser window so now web driver io is going to know that uh, we have to change the focus to the original tab in case we want to do something else in this particular website right that's the idea of this of this script let's uh, execute it i have a uh, well my test runner script actually pointing to this um to this particular file, so I'm gonna npm run webdriver.io, and this script is gonna well actually run the webdriver.io.conf.ts uh, file, and now it is working. It is or actually it is executing the test scenario. Let's see if it works or not. It is now running in Chrome. Let's wait a few seconds until the the instance is displayed. Right there it is, and well you're gonna see that it is gonna click on the window. Right, I'm sorry, in the button. It is going to check the HTML and then the the tab is going to be closed. It happened so fast. That's probably why you didn't see it. But if, for example, you can see that it, that it actually works because if we uh, change right the assertion to this is a sample page two, this shouldn't uh, actually or actually it should display an assertion error because it is a different text. You're going to see the result over here. Let's see if it works. It is executing one worker, right? Let's see if it works. Let's wait a few seconds until the new web route, uh, until the new Chrome driver session is gonna be open. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now it is running in Chrome. That's, that's right, that's good. Mm -hmm. And it is working. It, it should now click on the, on the new tab button, but now the assertion is going to fail and that's why you're going to see that the Chrome driver is kind of waiting <laughs> to see if the if the text changes but it is not changing because it is an, an static website but now it is failing that's correct now it is retrying to make sure or actually check if it if it was something related to the environment but it is not it is my fault of course i did it in, on purpose okay so let's see, uh, I'm gonna cancel the process here because we, we checked that it worked correctly. And so now we can continue with the next step or actually the next example, okay? I'm gonna kill the port now because, well, the Selenium standalone um, session, I killed it and so I needed to kill the port to close this, the, the well, the process on that particular port. Now I'm gonna clear this. I'm gonna change this, right? Because I don't wanna have an embodied assertion. And I'm gonna well uh, delete the only over here to continue with the next example, right? I have another it over here, which is gonna be a need to that make sure that should open a new tab by command. This is a very similar example. Let's let's compare the code over here. If you check the first it, right, you're gonna see that we trigger the the new tab clicking on a button. But WebDriver.io has another command, which is new window. Take a look of this. This new window is gonna open a new tab, right? With this particular URL. It's pretty similar than, than the thing that we did in the, the before, before each hook, but it is different because it is, okay, it is gonna open the, the URL, the base URL in every single before each hook. However, once it is open, now it is gonna open a new tab using new window, right? Uh, well, with this particular URL. So I'm gonna, Actually, I'm gonna write down an only here, right? And let's see if it works. Let's see how it works. The, the rest of the code is the same. I'm gonna change the window to the another tab, right? Then I'm gonna make sure that text containing is this one, right? And well, I'm gonna close the window and I'm gonna change the focus back to the browser windows instance. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and try this. I'm gonna run the command uh, npm run webdriver.io again and now the execution is in progress let's see if it works mm -hmm. uh, it's a matter of a few seconds it is fine let's see okay. now it is running in chrome that's correct 
and well in a few seconds it is going to open the web driver here right the, the chrome driver and now without clicking it is opening a new tab that's correct and now well it should close the window in a few seconds it is kind of laggy let's see if i did something wrong here but it should work correctly okay let's see oh it, it worked it is working correctly here and the uh, yeah the should is should open a new tab by command that's correct that's good but mm -hmm, yeah it is working correctly i'm sorry guys uh, but yeah, that's that's cool, and that's another command that we have available using this framework. Now let's take a look of, a no, of another approach, right? Because if you check here, the, the 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 third scenario that I wanted to show is that when you click on new window, it is gonna open a new window totally separated. We can follow the same approach, right? To well, actually uh, look for the tap or window with this particular matcher but there is another approach let me show you this okay i'm gonna come here and i'm going to uh, change the only to the last it okay so i'm gonna collapse this and i'm gonna paste the only to the third one over here and you're gonna see the difference here well i'm gonna actually look for the window button right and this window button is this one over here over here right i'm sorry nope it, window button yeah there it is it is the second button and you when you click on this it is going to open a new window right that's basically the, the idea of this but now we're gonna use this method which is browser get windows handles okay this is going to return a promise of a strings right and well you can see that uh, basically it is going to return like can a string with a code id right that can be used to handle the different tabs or window while well, using handles and then the array string that we have over here okay that's basically the idea when you click right on the window button it is gonna click on it we're gonna capture the different windows and tabs that we have available in the session okay and then we're gonna switch to the window with the uh, well in the array position number one right we only have two tabs right now or two windows the first one and the new one and we know that in this case it is the only or the number one over here okay now that we change to the window we do the same stuff we check the the string that that it is working correctly it should match as expected and then we're gonna close the window but take a look of this we're gonna come back to the main window right and we're gonna make sure that when we are back on this particular browser window we're gonna check that this string browser windows is expected and working correctly okay but well the difference is this one right using handles and uh, in this particular case we were using um well actually using the, the string itself in this case we're gonna return the, the the window handles string array of strings right array of strings in this particular constants and that's another way to handle the different instances in web tribe.io let's execute it over here let's see if it works hmm. it is executing one worker and it should work correctly let's see it's a matter of few seconds again <laughs> okay it is running now in chrome it is good and well you're gonna see that it works similarly but now it is gonna open a new window well it happens <laughs> so fast but well as you can see it is actually taking a look of the text containing in the new window but also when it switch back to the original window right let's see this one over here mm -hmm. it is going to check that the title is browser windows in the original tab or window right that's basically the idea of this video i hope that you enjoy this it is kind of simple but well it is uh, amazing from my point of view to have this in a single video so you don't have to care about a lot of stuff finding stuff in youtube or, or in google in separated videos right so thank you very much this was young media i hope that you can subscribe let a comment let a like because well these videos are not having like a lot of visits but well i'm having fun and the idea is that in the future we can take a look of webdriver.io and napune to check the, how it works with mobile automation right that's my idea and i hope that we can get that but I want to see a bit of support 
with this framework okay guys so i really appreciate it i hope that well you have an amazing week and see you in the next video thank you very much and see you in the next one bye bye